Billionaire George Soros' fund manages about $30 billion for Soros and his family, but the progressive-leaning Soros took nearly a billion dollars in losses recently thanks to the stock market rally spurred by Donald Trump's surprise presidential election. Soros returned to trading at his fund last year, lured back by the opportunities to profit from what he saw as coming economic troubles. The Wall Street Journal's Gregory Zuckerman and Julia Chung report that Soros was cautious about the market going into November and became more bearish immediately after Trump's election. The stance proved to be a mistake, as the stock market has rallied on expectation that Trump's policies will boost corporate earnings and the overall economy. Over the past three months, the S&P 500 index has increased by more than 6%. As a result, some of Soros' trading positions incurred losses approaching $1 billion, people familiar with the fund say, adding that he adjusted his positions and exited many of his bearish bets late last year, avoiding further losses. That said, Soros' broader portfolio performed better, bringing in profits before and after the election from long-held investments in sectors including financials and industrials, they say. Those gains helped Soros fund management gain about 5% on the year. But of the United States, where does he stand <coughs> in an open society? Well, I have described him as, as a, an imposter and con man and, and a would-be dictator. Uh, but he's only a would-be dictator because I'm uh, confident that the Constitution and the institutions of, uh, of America, of the United States, are strong enough uh, 